We want it to represent the past, the present, and the future. <laughs> and we want it to be in three sections. And, you know, that is, that is a, a really uh, condensed kind of a thing. And I want to play it for you. We, we had uh, an 80-piece orchestra on it, and then we, we married it with um, some synthesizers as well. I don't know if you'll hear the past, the present, and the future, but um, it was kind of funny. We had a lot of direction on this particular logo. And it's funny, when you do something that's so condensed, I find that um, you have more cooks in the kitchen telling you, you know, what their ideas are, and so you have to do a lot of versions of things, and we did several different versions of this. Um, I think one trick, actually, when you're doing versions, I think versions are a great trick, not to trick anybody, but a great tool when you're working with somebody, because rather than sit, w when you're working for somebody and you want to share with them your ideas, rather than saying, here's my idea, do you like it? You can say, Here's three ideas, which one do you like? And then it has a tendency to steer the people towards one of your ideas rather than saying, no, go back to the drawing board. So that's just a little something. But anyway, so here's the United Artists logo. Um, okay, uh, let me tell you one more thing. The <laughs> when when uh, it was piggybacked on a film, and uh, the composer of the film uh, was we, we had an hour before the film started, and because it's a logo and because we needed to do a lot of different versions of it, we had several different uh, scenarios of, of, you know, what the orchestra was going to do. Um, on the recording, for instance, you know, the strings would tacit on one section, or maybe we would do this section without bells, or maybe we had, you know, a couple of alternates. and. Again, the, the guy that was the um, conductor, and I've met some amazing, amazing, wonderful conductors, but the composer and conductor on this was not, I, I feel like he was just not uh, liking the fact that a woman was telling him what to do. And so, and I wasn't trying to tell him what to do, I was just suggesting, you know, I was just doing my job. But he said, he, he got all like, you know, up, up about it, and then he said, I said, well, let's just do it this way, let's do it this way, and he's like, just give her what she wants. Oh. And you know, can you believe that? And, um, and that was not very cool of him. And, uh, and, and had I gotten an attitude about it, we probably wouldn't have gotten a good result. But you just have to let something slide. So anyway, this is the United Artists logo. The past, the peasant, present, and the future. Let's see. I mean, literally every second was uh, was talked about. Can you play it again? Sure. Would you like to hear it one more time? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe turn it up a little bit. Okay. Let's see here. How funny they're an MGM company when they really didn't want to be part of any of the companies. Yeah, isn't that funny? United Artists. Was started United Artists. <laughs> what about Kaplan, DW Group, and yeah. Douglas Fairbanks? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.